It's important to remember that baptism doesn't save you. There's no grace in the water here with us apart from that which was already shined into the hearts of those who have been redeemed by Jesus Christ. This morning we're joined by Dave Hemmer who's come to share his story of saving faith in Jesus Christ. Dave, why don't you tell me a little bit about your life before you were a Christian? Uh, so I was, uh, I was raised in a very loving Catholic family. I'm the youngest of five. Um, I had two aunts that are nuns. I have a cousin who became a Catholic priest. And, um, and you know, I believed that I was a person of faith. But as I, as I grew older, I grew apart from the church. And, um, and what I came to realize later is that I, just, I really wasn't being spiritually fed there. And I didn't really truly understand the gospel. So how did that all change? When did you come to know Jesus? So when Jenny and I were engaged, we were uh, out of town one weekend and we went to a, a weekend, uh, like a Sunday morning church service, and uh, there was an individual sharing his testimony, and uh, he talked about the gospel, shared the gospel message, and uh, asked us to close our eyes and just, you know, asked us if, if God was working in our heart to raise our hand, and at that point, this, the Holy Spirit just, just reached into my heart, and... Um, and, uh, and I knew that I was a sinner and that I needed to be saved. And so I raised my hand, and then when uh, we opened our eyes, Jenny was sitting next to me, and she had her hand raised as well. And that's when we gave our hearts to the Lord. Amen. So why do you want to get baptized this morning? Uh, I want to get baptized to uh, proclaim publicly my faith in Jesus Christ and, uh, and to be obedient and uh, do what we're called to do in the Bible. Amen. And what's God doing in your life now as a believer? So... Um, so God's been very patient with Jenny and I um, over a number of years as we uh, uh, grew in our faith uh, kind of one small step at a time. Um, we did leave the Catholic Church and we started coming here to Emmanuel a number of years ago um, and that made a huge change in our life. Um, another big change was when we um, joined a, um, a small group Bible study here at IBC and that, had, that made a huge impact in our, in our spiritual walk. Um, you know, some other interesting things that, um, you know, my, I had the opportunity, even though it was kind of an uncomfortable conversation, to talk to my dad and just talk to him about our beliefs and, uh, and to, you know, share the truth with him. And, uh, and as it turned out, that happened very shortly before he died very suddenly. And we really resolved to always, um, I resolved at that time to um, never hold back anything that I wanted to say to someone that I love because none of us are promised tomorrow. Well, Dave, I have two last questions for you. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that Jesus' death on the cross was the final and complete payment for your sins? I do. And is it your desire to follow him in obedience and love with the rest of your life? It is. Dave, because of your profession of faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dave is being joined this morning in baptism by his wife, Jenny. Jenny, why don't you tell us a little bit about your life growing up? Sure. Um, I also came from a Catholic background. However, my parents decided when I was very young to leave the Catholic Church. So I was raised without church. Um, and sub subsequently, I felt like an outsider with all of my extended family as well as many of my friends. I was also raised to believe that my success and happiness was all about me all up to me. Um, and from this, I learned some big lies. I learned that I am only worthy of love if I'm doing everything right. I learned that confrontation is bad. And I learned that you should stuff your negative feelings and not talk about them. How did you come to hear about the truth of Jesus Christ in response to those lies? Well, looking back, I realized that God was drawing me to him for a long time. I first heard the gospel in college, um, however there was a lot that I still didn't understand. Um, since both my husband and I came from Catholic backgrounds, we spent some time trying to straddle the fence <laughs> uh, between Catholicism and Evangelical Christianity, and that didn't work so well, um, but God is gracious and patient. He allowed some significant hardship in our family. Um, my daughter 
struggled with depression and anxiety in high school and some associated difficulties that can go along with that. And things kind of completely fell apart in our family. Um, and we endured some really extreme difficulties that lasted for seven years. Um, I know that we, he wanted to use these circumstances uh, to remove the lies that I had learned growing up about confrontation being bad, about loving someone based on conditions, and, um, and not talking about my feelings. He wanted me to learn that I'm not in control and that I can completely rely on God who loves me. Why do you want to come and get baptized this morning? Uh, I'm coming to get baptized today, to stand before my church and share a little bit of my story and to proclaim my love for Jesus. I'm so excited to take this next step. And Jenny, what's God doing in your life now as a believer who's following him? Well, God has used trials in my life to teach me about his sovereignty in all situations. And I can attest to the truth of James 1 where it says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. I have celebrated as God brought my daughter from spiritual death to spiritual life through the power of the Holy Spirit. And um, I have watched as he strengthened my marriage and my faith and I'm looking forward to using what God has shown me to help others who are struggling in similar ways. Thank you, Jenny. I have two questions left for you. Do you believe that Jesus' death on the cross was the complete and final atonement for your sin? I do. And is it your desire to follow him in obedience and love for the rest of your life? Yes. All right, Jenny. Because of your testimony of faith, in Jesus Christ, it's my joy to baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.